Hello again everyone, I just wanted to stop in really quickly for you guys. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, which I'm not really the type to post a ton of videos, I guess. Um, it's I don't know, it just seems like I can't find the time. But anyhow, um, as you know, I did move into my new home, so... Oh, and my color is black to my natural colors, which is like a, a blackish brown color. And I just uh, dyed it recently myself, actually, out of a box. But the color looks amazing. Um, it looks even better in the sunlight. Um, so yeah, it's actually like my natural hair color. And it's kind of hard to see. I'm not sure if the light's capturing it or not. But, um, yeah, I decided to go ahead and get rid of my light color. Um, it was definitely time for a touch-up, and I was just tired of maintaining my hair. So, that's a hassle, actually. I'll go ahead and just share with you guys a few things that I did purchase from, <sighs> purchase from the drugstore or Walmart, Target, that kind of thing. And um, just a few products since the last time I taped a video or did a video or... Yeah. <laughs> so um, as you can, as you know, I actually just do mainly hauls. Let me know in the comments below. But I am definitely building the courage up to doing a like a eye tutorial type of video. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm just like really nervous of getting like super close to the camera and having you like just zoom in on like my eyeball type of uh, angle. I don't know. Maybe I just got to try it and I'm sure it's not as bad as I'm making it seem. Like I said, this was kind of more of my um, drugstore slash actually I have a few things that I purchased from Halt Look and I'm going to go ahead and show you a few of those. This was on a sale that they had a while back with um, Urban Decay and I only grabbed a couple of lip glosses and these are the um, lip gloss Urban Decay Pocket Rocket lipsticks and this one's in um, Dustin. These are super cute. Uh, Pocket Rocket? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so these are super cute. They're like a little rocket. I was going to say bullet, but yeah. They're like a little freaking rocket looking symbol or packaging. Um, it looks like that. This one's a very nude, a nude like skin tone color. This one's in the color, did I say that? Dustin. So I don't know. What I really think is really cute about these is if you look at the image, so in a certain way, the man on the top of the cap changes like I guess his clothing. He's either like I don't know, in his work outfit, and then he immediately strips down to his skibbies. <laughs> so yeah, hence Pocket Rocket, I guess. I really don't know. It's a pretty cool, cool idea. And here's another one of his backside. Um, he's like, I guess, I don't know, a lumberjack of some sort. I don't know. So anyways, maybe I can get you to see his bootay. Ah, oh, right there, I think, if it's capturing it. Oh, they're just so cute. What a cute idea. Well, this one's Dustin, and then I have a, another one, and this one's a very... Um, orange peach color looks like that and this one's in max the color max they all have guy names on them so they're kind of funny like that and um, this one's the same thing it looks like this and I'm not sure if I'm holding it up right or not but it looks like this and this one's max and the same thing this one's like a surfer dude and he gets down to his freaking skibbies as well and then it has his surfer outfit on <laughs> And then the back side as well. These are just some cute lip ideas. This is pretty sticky, which I'm not really fond of lip glosses that stay so sticky like that. But they're very moisturizing, which I like. Um, the one thing I don't, I do not like about these uh, lip glosses is that they carry a really, I don't know, a disturbing scent. I really do not like the scent at all. Um, to me, oof, see this one like smells like, I don't know, like really strong almond scent. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I don't like that type of scent on my lips. So I put some on last night just because I wanted to have some lip gloss on my lips uh, to keep them moist. And I swear I got a headache just freaking smelling that all night until I finally fell asleep. So I'm not really fond of the smell itself. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's tolerable, but it's not my favorite. But this is one of their eyeshadows and this one's in the color Woodstock. I actually have been keeping my eye, out, my eye out for a super, super hot pink color. They were doing the sprays as well. They had the extra large size bottles for 18 bucks. Like, what the hell? Dude, you, you purchase a small little bottle, like about this big, at Sephora, and it's damn near $30 or $32 or something like that 
for the setting spray and it's like I don't know it's so so much smaller than the full size bottle this is an extra large size bottle this has about um, six fluid ounces which is a lot of product and this is the D slick that I was actually wanting to try I don't know why I went with the all-nighter at the time but I have been dying to try the D slick and I will say that I absolutely love this setting spray uh, I sprayed on after I put my product on my face as use far as skincare line from Clinique. Um, I use all of their line for acne prone skin and oily skin actually and I've been absolutely loving the products. Um, they're not scented which is super cool because if you are allergic to scents or uh, fragrances um, you know you don't have to worry about that with the Clinique products that they have as far as their skincare line. And I'll spritz this on my face um, directly almost on my t-zone area because that's where, I was, that's where I end up getting the most oily at um, throughout the day. And then after I put on all my makeup as far as like foundation, a concealer under the eyes, and I'll set it with the powder and all of that, I'll spritz my face again with this um, just to give it a, a flawless finish. And it really does work. I've actually, I love this product uh, versus the all-nighter because this one does help with um, the, the oil control a lot better than the all-nighter, just my preference. But I have been loving that. Are the NYX brand lipsticks. I haven't seen these anywhere else other but one HEB that I happen to stop in. And they are the Glam Aqualux lipsticks, and they're really pretty. They're actually super shimmery, which is pretty crazy. I didn't think I would like them, but when I swatched them on my hand, because they had the testers out at HEB, um, they were beautiful. And um, the first one I actually got was called Aurora, and it looks like this. And as you can see, it's the next brand, and like I said, it's the Aqua... Uh, Lux brand or Luke's brand. I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right, but this one's more of a gold color. And like I said, these are super shimmery, but they glide on so nicely. I love how their lipsticks just glide on and I'll do a swatch for you guys. It's freaking beautiful. I love this color. Like I said, this one's like a, a neutral, like gold color. It's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys. Um, there you go. Maybe that would work a little bit. But that one's that there's that color and the other one I picked up which is a frosty pink color this one's called holistic wait yeah holistic it looks like that <clears throat> ah <clears throat> sorry it looks like that and um, it's the same same line that they had they had actually a lot of colors I um, mean like I said this one's a frosty pink color I actually have this on like in the middle of my my lips right now and I'll swatch this one for you guys as well Oop you guys as well so you can kind of get a comparison it I swear the camera does not do this color justice it's super pretty but it's they're both super frosty so if you're not fond of frosty lip colors um, these wouldn't be something that you would pick out because um, yeah they're super shimmery frosty whatever you want to call it but they're really pretty on, they uh, on really easily and they feel nice on your lips and they look pretty if you like that type of frosty look on your lips. So check those out if you get a chance. I'm not sure if all the HEBs I can. have been looking for a scrunch mousse because I like the feel of mousse products in my hair. Um, but my hair is naturally curly, like really curly. And um, I don't try to put stuff in my hair. Well, when I was younger, I used to put a lot of like gels and mousses in my hair. But... My hair would be like super scrunchy. It was ridiculous. Like it was super hard, uh, not flattering at all. <laughs> so as I started getting older, um, I started wanting a more softer, natural look. And I haven't been able to find any product that would actually hold my curl in place, give me some volume, also give me, uh, you know, just hold without frizzing and still soft and bouncy. And I finally found the product that I've been looking for all my damn life. And it was recommended to me, oops, it was recommended to me by a friend of mine from work. Um, she happened to step in the bathroom the same time I was in there. And her hair was really pretty wavy and it was moving the whole time. She was walking and talking to me and flapping her hair around. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I've got to know what you put in your hair because your hair looks exactly like mine. Although I have yet to come across a product that will... Give me a curl and a bounce and softness and move and everything um, without frizzing um, because I swear my hair would just frizz if I don't put anything in it. So she recommended this Aussie. It's called the Catch a Wave Mousse Plus Leave-In Conditioner. It's a mousse type of product and this one's in the flexible hold. It looks like this 
And I think I have found, finally found my holy grail mousse, to be honest, um, especially for curly hair. I freaking it love it. It smells really stuff. good, and um, it makes my hair super, super soft. I just let it air dry, and it, get, it gets this look. I mean, I don't know if you're capturing this or not, but it's super soft. Um, it's movable. It's not stiff. I love it, um, and I just cannot believe that I've waited this long to find a product like that because I've been waiting to find something that is this product. Um, also, I had seen one of the girls on YouTube, actually a few of you girls on YouTube, recommending this product right here. It's a thermal setting spray, and it's from the Tresemme brand, so it's the Thermal Creations uh, Heat Protectant up to 40, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's the, uh, the leave-in spray. I wanted to give this a whirl because I do definitely, definitely believe in heat protectant sprays. I use one in particular from Sally Hans no wait, from Sally Beauty Supplies. And um, it's like an oil type. It's like comes in an orange bottle. It's like an oil type. It's called like a flat iron something. But I love that one because it does smell good. It smells amazing. But the only thing I don't like about it is that it makes my hair super greasy at times, especially if I'm going to re or especially when I try to go back and straighten out my hair a little bit on like the second or third day and I still keep putting on that setting or not setting spray but I keep putting on that um heat protectant spray my hair gets super oily so it's really good for shine I guess the first day the first go around but um if I'm going to use that I'll probably use it only the first go around and then I'll go and do it like maybe like the second, third, and fourth day with this. Yes, guys, I go about four or five days without shampooing my hair. Um, not necessarily when I wear it scrunchy like this. I'll go like maybe two days, um, three the most, and then I'll start trying to pick it up. But honestly, I do go quite quite a, quite a while without shampooing my hair. It's pretty cool. Um, Revlon is, um, let me see, this one's called Radiant, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, glittery blue, like almost like a teal ocean type of blue color. And uh, it's very, very glittery, so I thought I'd get me this color because I don't have one like it yet. And now I do, and this is the 441 Radiant Color. You can see that right there. And um, also picked up another one from Revlon. This one's called Gold Coin in the number 925, and it's this beautiful gold color. I actually wore this over the weekend at a wedding that I went to in Galveston and um, looked very beautiful on my toes. And then I also did an accent toe with the gold this one's actually from fergie oh the wet and wild fergie line this one's in the color if i can find it oh cute okay so this one's um the wet and wild fergie line and this one's called glamorous um that's cute because the, the song glamorous glamorous popped in my head so as soon as i read that the title but this one's just a beautiful ah this one's actually a beautiful, just sheer color, but it has all the little glow, that has all the little gold um, glitter, like big glitters in it. I love this color. It's really pretty, especially like for accent nails. Um, and the color that I'm actually wearing on my nails right now is another Revlon color. And this one is Sparkle called A Plenty is this color right here. And this is what I'm actually wearing on my nails today. Um, it's a beautiful fall color. Um, I saw it like on the display models and I fell in love with it. It's actually a beautiful black color with a bunch of glitter, small glitter in it, um, as well as the big, you know, chunky glitter in it as well. Um, I'm not sure if you're getting a good picture of that. Let me try to move my, ooh, my blinds. Okay, well that's a little better maybe. But it looks like that. Very beautiful color. I'm really enjoying it. I just polished my nails this color the other night. So, uh, yeah, I dig it. So, there's that. Um, can't think of what else I might have gotten over the past uh, couple weeks. But, like I said, I am going to try to go ahead and post a few more videos. Um, give me some ideas. Like I said, I don't not... <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to start doing the whole like tutorials. But, like my makeup routine, I wouldn't mind doing one of those because I've kind of been pretty consistent with the foundations and powders and bronzers and you know just adding different color blushes every day but it's pretty routine for me now hope you enjoyed uh, like I said I'll kind of check in occasionally maybe I'll do some vlogs who knows um, I'm interested in the whole vlog thing because I carry around a little like flash cam all the Thanks time for watching um show me your support and subscribe a comment and like the video if you like it um, anyway so I'll go ahead and uh, get back to you on another video Bye, guys. Mwah.